Hello, this is a quick tutorial. I am Katie Walker. I'm going to show you how to use Capture Space to create a video presentation um, or screencast. Um, the first step is to install the Capture Space software. This is something you only have to do once, um, but you start off by going to the mediaspace.uaa.alaska.edu website, um, which you can see here, and you click Guest and then you log in and you log in just like you log into Blackboard and you'll see your name up here. In order to find Capture Space, click on Add New. If you do not see Capture Space here, call the call center at 786-4646. When you click on that, you'll see the options to download either for Windows or for Mac. And then, of course, after you've downloaded it, you need to click on the downloaded file and install it. Once you do that, you will see um, that Capture Space can be opened directly from your computer menu because it's installed on your computer and you no longer have to go to this website. So you can see that there's a lot of different options for using Capture Space. Um, the one I'm going to demonstrate today is the presentations and lectures. So what you do is you click on presentations and lectures and it shows up with whatever the last thing I did was. So the, the options on the left are very important. You first have to choose the correct webcam. You may have more than one. And secondly, you have to choose whether you want a screen capture or a presentation, one or the other. So I'm doing a presentation. So I'm going to browse and I'm going to pick one of my presentations. Just randomly picking one as an example here. And then the last thing is to check which microphone I'm using and make sure it's going to be the best quality microphone. So after I've chosen my camera, chosen presentation, and put my PowerPoint presentation here, and chosen my sound, then I'm ready to record. Um, so once you record, it's going to um, show you your slides and give you the opportunity to click or right click to change slides and narrate through your presentation. You can pause it at any time, and when you're finished, you'll hit done. In this case, um, I'm going to pause this screencast for a moment so that I can do it and show you the second step. So once you've recorded your presentation, you will click done, and then it'll bring up this preview, and you can take a look at it and see how it looks. Um, when you're happy with it, you'll hit done again. Then it'll ask you to fill out the title and the description and tags, and then you want to upload it. And when you upload it, it is going to go into My Media. Now, it'll take longer if it's a longer video. I made a really, really short video, so it's very quick. And so it gives me a URL, but also when I go to Blackboard and I click on My Media, I will find the video that I just recorded in My Media. And notice it's showing just a temporary image because I've just done it a moment ago. This was a practice one that I did earlier. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. So this is like my own private YouTube channel, so nobody else can see this this yet. But this is where all videos I make with Kaltura are saved. Plus, this is where I can just simply upload plain old videos that I have from, from a previous streaming server or from somewhere else. So this is not a necessary step. I just wanted to show you where it is. Whenever you want to share it with other people, you have to put it into Blackboard. And there's a number of ways you can do that. But one way is on a blog or a discussion board or in an assignment, you will find a mashups button. So it doesn't matter which one of the Blackboard tools you're in. When you see mashups, you simply choose Kaltura. And then you will again get that list of everything that's in your My Media. And here's the one I've just done. And I'll select that. And it'll just insert it with a thumbnail. And I've added it below what I did previously. Um, it'll put it right in there. And that's how you can add it to Blackboard. So hopefully this will give you uh, a good idea of how to use Capture Space to create a presentation and add it to Blackboard.